Looking for the best CPU cooler for the Intel Core Ultra 9 285K? The 285K is Intel's latest flagship processor, and you'll need to pair it with a solid cooling solution to keep it running smoothly without having to stress over temperatures, especially if you plan on overclocking it. To help you out, I've researched and narrowed down the three best CPU coolers that strike the right balance between performance, noise control, and build quality for the Ultra 9 285K. Price information and all the CPU coolers mentioned in the video are available in the description. You can also find more detailed reviews and buyer guides on our website, bestmotherboardzone.com. And before we get started, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from us. First, for users who want reliable AIO cooling without blowing the budget, the ID Cooling FX240 Pro is where I would point. Though technically a budget cooler, this solid 240mm unit doesn't feel like it when comfortably cooling a chip like the 285K, even matching the thermal output of older i7 CPUs under moderate load. This cooler can keep Intel's flagship under control in most real-world workloads. Under full load, temps hover just under 80 degrees Celsius, which is more than acceptable at this price point. It's fully compatible with the Arrow Lake exclusive LGA1851 socket, and thanks to its compact 50mm pump height, it can fit in most mid-tower cases without clearance issues. If you're not after RGB gimmicks, that's another plus, as it features a discreet matte black design. That being said, alternatives in this price range include air coolers like the Thermalright Phantom Spirit or Deepcool AK620. However, these start to feel quite hefty in smaller cases and don't match the FX240 Pro's noise levels. You could invest in those as well if you don't mind RAM clearance issues or have better case airflow, but for reliable thermals and easier compatibility in compact ATX or mid-tower cases, the FX240 Pro is a no-brainer. To sum up, what I like is the quiet operation and excellent thermal performance. There are no clearance issues in mid-tower cases, and the low cost for a 240mm unit. On the downside, no ARGB or RGB lighting of any kind. Next, if budget isn't an issue and you're after top cooling performance and a premium visual experience, the Asus ROG Ryujin 3 360 ARGB is an excellent pick for the Core Ultra 9 285K. For starters, it's built around Asetek's 8th gen pump with a three-phase motor, it offers quiet acoustics, includes a beefy 30mm thick radiator, and features a cold plate that's about 32% larger than older models. This gives it plenty of surface area to handle the 285K's thermal load, even under sustained 300 watts. Performance-wise, it's among the top contenders in its category, keeping the 285K well below 70 degrees Celsius during heavy multi-core workloads and overclocked conditions. But it's not just about thermals. The pump block features a built-in 3.5-inch full-color LCD screen that can display real-time system stats or custom animated content. It also includes a small VRM fan integrated into the pump housing to help cool the voltage regulators on high-end motherboards. There are other premium alternatives in this price range, like the NZXT Kraken Elite or Lian Lee Galahad 2 Trinity LCD. However, the Ryujin stands out in terms of real-world performance and long-term reliability. If aesthetics are your top priority, the other two models may be worth considering. But if you're focused on peak cooling efficiency, high-end build quality, and a bit of customizable flair, the ROG Ryujin 3 is the cooler that truly matches the caliber of the 285K. To sum up, what I like is the outstanding cooling on power-hungry chips, the eye-catching LCD screen and ARGB lighting, and the VRM fan adds board stability under load. On the downside, it may not fit comfortably in compact mid-tower cases. Finally, my top pick for the Ultra 9 285K is the Be Quiet Light Loop 360mm ARGB. The reason? During sustained benchmarks on power-hungry chips like the 14700K, this cooler consistently delivered excellent thermal results while keeping both pump and fan noise impressively low. This means that with the Ultra 9 285K generating a similar heat signature to an i7-13700K, the light loop handles it effortlessly without demanding a premium price tag. The fans, Lightwing's LXPWM, play a big role here by offering a strong balance of airflow and low noise. This is especially important in productivity-focused builds where background noise can be a concern. 
One rare feature of the Light Loop is its refillable coolant system, allowing users to top up the liquid over time and extend the cooler's lifespan. For ARGB fans, the dual loop lighting adds just the right amount of flair without being excessive. When compared to our other two picks, the Asus ROG Ryujin 3 may outperform it in raw thermal headroom and visual customization, while the ID Cooling FX240 Pro offers better value for budget builds. But the light loop strikes the best overall balance between cooling efficiency, acoustic performance, and aesthetics. Alternatives like the Lian Li Galahad 2 Trinity Performance are also worth considering, but they lean more heavily on aesthetics and can get noticeably louder under load. So, if quiet operation is your top priority, Be Quiet still holds the edge. To sum up, what I like is the refillable design that adds long-term longevity, the clean aesthetics and well-integrated ARGB, and it effortlessly handles high-end chips like the 285K. On the downside, it can be costly for budget builds, and some competing options in this price range offer more extras.